Reading aloud to you, Max and Ruby's Midas, another Greek myth. Written and illustrated by Rosemary Wells. Hello, beautiful, whispered Max. I see you and I hear you, Max said Max's sister, Ruby. And I see those lumps and bumps in your pajamas. Back they go, Max, said Ruby. One more of these and you'll turn into a cupcake. Now, Max, said Ruby, I'm going to read you a bedtime story about someone whose sweet tooth got out of control. Are you ready, Max? Yes, said Max. Then listen up, said Ruby. Once upon a time, in ancient Greece, there was a little prince named Midas who hated his fruits and vegetables. Midas spent a lot of time in his mother's kitchen glaring at her olive loaves. He kept trying to turn them into sweets by developing laser beam eyes. One morning, Midas's mother put prune whip on his melon. Oh no, groaned Midas. You must eat a good breakfast, my little pomegranate, said his mother. Then you will grow big and strong. Midas decided to try something he had never done before. As he laser beamed his eyes, he whispered the words, Hot Fudge Sunday at the prune whip. It worked beyond his wildest dreams. Midas's breakfast was transformed into a table of ice cream delights. Unfortunately, his mother's hand had gotten in the way of the laser beam. She became a cherry float. The ice cream was delicious and took until lunchtime to eat. Midas's father called him into the fountain room for lunch. Spinach soup is full of vitamins, son, said Midas's dad. Midas whispered the words, Pistachio Pop, at the soup. But just as he lasered his eyes at the spoon of green liquid, he sneezed and nicked his father on the sleeve. The spinach soup speedily turned into Pistachio Pop. But Midas's father was locked in the rubbery swirls of the lime jello surprise. At four o'clock, Midas's sister, Athena, called him for an afternoon snack. She had made him a freshly baked carrot muffin. Aiming carefully, Midas singed his laser eyes at the muffin. But by accident, he hiccuped, missed the muffin, and ticked Athena on a whisker. Athena became a slice of birthday cake. Midas pleaded for her to come back. But no amount of persuading could coax his sister out of the layers. What have I done? moaned Midas. He looked high and low for his family, but all he could find was melted ice cream and sagging jello. Midas sped to the top step of the escalarum. Using every volt of his body, he sent his lasers scooting down the banister, up the drain pipes, and into every corner of every room in the house. Mom! Dad! Athena! he shouted. Come back! 
After a moment, Midas heard tinkling laughter from the kitchen. Dinner time, said Midas' mother. And we have your favorite dessert for you, said Midas' father. Hot fudge sundae, Athena sang out. Oh, no, said Midas. Broccoli, he whispered. Ruby closed the book. Midas had too much of a good thing, didn't he, Max? asked Ruby. But Max didn't answer. Good night, Max, said Ruby. Good night, beautiful, said Max. The end. I hope you enjoyed this Max and Ruby story. For more books read aloud, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a lovely day.